Greetings, good people, and welcome to Black Comic Characters. This is Donald E. Jones II, a.k.a. Solly Two Kings. Today, I present Sam Wilson, better known as the Falcon. First appeared in Captain America number 117, September 1969, published by Marvel Comics. The Falcon is a historic black first in comics. He is the first known African-American superhero in mainstream comics. The Falcon was created by the late greats Stan Lee and Gene Coolan. In an interview, Coolan recalls, quote, In the late 1960s, when news of the Vietnam War and civil rights protests were regular occurrences, and Stan, always wanting to be at the forefront of things, started bringing these headlines into comics. One of the biggest steps we took in this direction came in Captain America. I enjoyed drawing people of every kind. I drew as many different types of people as I could into the scenes I illustrated, and I loved drawing black people. I always found their features interesting and so much of their strength, spirit, and wisdom written on their faces. I approached Stan, as I remember, with the idea of introducing an African-American hero, and he took to it right away. I looked at several African-American magazines and used them as the basis for inspiration for bringing the Falcon to life. The Falcon's true identity is Sam Wilson. Wilson was a resident of Harlem who always had an affinity with birds. He had the largest pigeon coop in Harlem where he would train those pigeons. Unfortunately, his parents were killed during his teenage years. His father, who was a preacher, was killed trying to break up a fight in the neighborhood, and his mother was later killed by a mugger one block away from their apartment. This left Wilson jaded and angry at the world so he moved out to Los Angeles and took to crime under a new persona, Snap Wilson. On the way to Rio de Janeiro for a major crime job, his plane crash-landed on an island called Exile Island. This is where he took to training a wild falcon whom he named Red Wing. Wilson finds that the island is not uninhabited. He is captured by a group who were former Nazis in league with Captain America's nemesis, the Red Skull. The Red Skull uses a powerful item known as the Cosmic Cube to mentally control Wilson and plans to use him in a plot to stop Captain America. Captain America is able to free Wilson from the control of the Red Skull, and he urges Wilson to use his talents for saving people. So he joins Captain America and names himself the Falcon. When the Red Skull used the Cosmic Cube on Wilson, he expanded the telepathic ability Wilson had already so that he could be mentally fused with Red Wing and see through his eyes. Captain America and the Falcon teamed up with one another and continued to work together in the series. The team became so popular that Marvel changed the title from Captain America to Captain America and the Falcon on issue 134 through 192 and 194 through 222 for a period of over seven years from February 1971 to June of 1978. The Civil War storyline was one of the most popular storylines in modern comics. This is the story where the U.S. government enacts the Superhuman Registration Act, which requires all superhumans to be registered with the government and enacts certain restrictions and controls on what they can do. This causes a schism between superheroes, with Iron Man leading on the side that supports the act, and Captain America, who stands against it. The Falcon supports the side against the Registration Act. When Captain America is incapacitated during one of the stories, the Falcon takes over the leadership of the Secret Avengers, the rogue group that fights against the Registration Act. When the apparent assassination of Captain America occurs, Falcon does register with the government, and he is given the jurisdiction of Harlem to patrol and protect. Of course, Captain America is not dead, and he and the Falcon continue to fight crime. But during one instance during a battle with the villain known as the Iron Nail, Captain America's super soldier serum is neutralized, which causes him to age rapidly into a much older man. Steve Rogers retains his sharp mind, but his body is now frail so he names Sam Wilson as the new Captain America. In the comics, the Falcon has certain abilities. 
Sam Wilson already had a telepathic bond with his hawk, Redwing. When the Red Skull used the Cosmic Cube on him, it cemented that bond so that he could be fused with Redwing, allowing him to see through Redwing's eyes. Later on, Wilson is able to expand this ability to not just Redwing, but to any bird. As Wilson puts it, I have over six billion pairs of eyes in the United States alone. The Falcon's iconic suits have given him additional abilities as well. His original suit had detachable jet-powered glider wings, which allowed him to fly. The wings had solar-powered arrays built into them to power the miniature electric turbine fans in his costume and his boots. The costume was composed of stretch fabric lined with a steel alloy mesh. Unfortunately, this costume was destroyed in battle in 2004. A new costume was created for the Falcon by none other than T'Challa, the Black Panther. The new costume improved the Falcon's overall abilities, with the wings now being composed of a holographic hard light that could expand his wingspan to 50 feet. The wings were created by an emitter ray on his back. By utilizing a cybernetic link, the hard light wings could transform themselves into many different configurations. The emitter also jammed GPS coordination so that the Falcon cannot be traced. The costume itself was made with a classic vibranium microweave so that the Falcon is protected from small firearms. Fun fact. In 1939, an unrelated character also went by the name of the Falcon. He was created by artist and writer Bill Everett under the name of what Marvel was back in the 1930s, Timely Comics. Not much is known about this character, so we are glad that Sam Wilson took up the title. In the MCU, we have seen our classic hero come to life on the big screen, thanks to the remarkably talented actor Anthony Mackie. He was first introduced in Captain America, The Winter Soldier, and we have seen him in Avengers Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, Captain America Civil War, Avengers Infinity War, where he was one of those who was snapped out of existence by Thanos, and his return in Avengers Endgame. We are also very excited to see Anthony Mackie team up with Sebastian Stan in the upcoming series, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, starting on March 19th, on Disney Plus. Thank you for going through the character profile of the Falcon. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment below. I'd also like to invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when we release more great content on Black Comic Characters. Until the next time, peace.